name's Gord Fraser. I'm the director sportif of the Silver Pro Cycling team. Um, in terms of career accomplishments, I don't know. I think just a, a long, long career. Uh, 13, 13 years as a pro. Uh, had numerous, numerous wins. Thanks, thanks to some great teammates that helped me uh, win those races over the years. And I think uh, maybe if one stands out over the others, maybe. Uh, Maybe the national championship in 2004. It's, you know, it's the only national championships, but I always wanted, as a as a young cyclist, to wear the national champion jersey. And finally, uh, very late in my career, I was probably I think I was 36 when I won my first uh, national title. I thought that was maybe one of my more uh, memorable victories. Mm -hmm. You know, generally these type of accolades in the past have been to guys who've had success, maybe at world championships or Olympics. And uh, of course, the cycling road race—it's uh, it's, it's a bit harder to get a result in that type of an event. And uh, so I was lacking that type of uh, result on my on my palmarès. But I think just the body of work that I had over the 13 years—I think that was—it's uh, it's nice to see that that was recognized and worthy of induction to the mm -hmm. Hall of Fame. Pretty much the first class last year that was inducted, everyone on that uh, on that list. Uh, Kurt Harnett, you know, uh, I was a team pursuiter early in my career. I roomed a lot with Kurt when he was at his, at his height in match sprinting on the track. Just to see his professionalism was uh, was an eye opener as a young as a young rider. Then when I turned professional uh, with Motorola, you know, my very first race as a pro, I was teammates with Steve Bauer, who's one of my uh, one of my idols growing up, and you know, he won the race in Minneapolis, it's called the Norwest Cup. So my very first race as a pro was with Steve. I'm rooming with Steve. He wins the race. I win the bunch sprint for tenth. So that was a real memorable, memorable race indeed. And uh, Tanya Dunikov, of course, uh, was in the first, the first, uh, the first class. And she's just an incredible athlete, world champion on the track. So pretty much everyone uh, in that in that first class had some. Gore Singleton, of course, you know, Jocelyn Lovell. The, when they when they rode the tandem in the 1978 Commonwealth Games, 78 Commonwealth Games on TV, I think was my first real exposure to cycling. When when Jocelyn won the scratch race, I was just blown away. And you could still see that uh, you could still see that race on YouTube. It's just uh, it kind of makes you tingle, and the, you know the way he won that race. And then Gordon and Jocelyn. I mean, if you could if you can think of a, a tandem pair. Like a the all-time best tandem pair, I think those two would be on the top of the list. And to see two guys of that talent and that quality on on one bike was just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. So they they won the match sprint tandem. They don't do that event anymore, yeah. probably because it's so crazy. And uh, you know, track sprinters are very uh, let's just say they're they have a reputation of being more crazy than than road sprinters. And I don't think anybody would want to be on the back seat of a of a, of a tandem driven by a, mm -hmm. a sprinter, so uh, to see to witness that as a young as a young uh, as a youngster, that was a big influence on me to, to pursue cycling. I was doing a lot of different sports, and mm -hmm. and I think that was the real turning point for me to prioritize cycling was watching that 78.